Friday. You want to take a picture right here? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Making our way back, making our way down. Got a nice little icy area. Gotta be careful here. Got to be careful here. You tell whoever traveled here last, almost slid, it looks like. Probably didn't have cleats on their shoes. That's pretty, isn't it? Well, howdy, folks. Sean and Michelle here. I went Sean on YouTube. Today we are at Stoneface Research Natural Area. We're gonna go see the old man, <sighs> and hopefully uh, not freeze to death. <laughs> so it's so cold that I've decided to use my face mask. Not to block COVID, but to help keep my face warm. <laughs> we have multiple layers on. Uh, insulated tights over regular tights. Insulated uh, shirts, hoodies. I got a sock cap on my regular hood. Got gloves, glove liners. Yeah. Hey, I got hand warmers in my shoes over my toes, which is working out really nicely. My foot's really warm. And, uh, you know, I it's working out, so. <laughs> All right, folks. Get through this little wind tunnel. <laughs> <sighs> Definitely chilly. I can really feel it in my hands. <laughs> I can only really feel it in my hands. It is pretty cold. Good old bluffage. Some icicleage here. Pretty cool. Pretty wild. Nice furry glove. <laughs> really cool icicleage over here. That's pretty. That's really pretty. That's cool, folks. That's really cool. Wow. You know, some people might think we're crazy if we get out in this, but, but stuff like this, that kind of makes it worth it. You know, it's just really pretty. You're only gonna see it <laughs> during a time like this, so. Alrighty folks, got a cave here. This little cave, and it oh, <laughs> kinda looks like <laughs> stalactite, stalagmite, whatever it is. <laughs> but it's ice, obviously. So, I, I would assume this used to be some sort of mine, and that's why it looks like this. That's why I'm thinking some sort of mine. I don't know. Look at that. Oh wow. <laughs> That's still pretty cool. Big icicles. Alrighty folks, check this out. It's kind of cool. Uh, I was with the River River Trail Society here and we just kind of slid down. It was like a slide and <laughs> it's a real slide today. <laughs> you just might not stop. <laughs> you might keep going off the side of the bluffage. 
There's a nice overlook. All right, folks, continuing our journey to Old Stoneface to seek his wisdom of how to survive winter 2021. Alrighty folks, I don't know if you could see it, but right there in that area, right over here in that area, is the sign. That's the uh, stone face sign that I showed you to at the intro. So it's kind of weird because it seems like it's farther away when you're up here, but you know, you could see everything right now in the winter and especially in the snow and uh, you know, you could see the sign, so it's kind of neat. All right. It does look like the sun's trying to come out on us, folks. We welcome that. We haven't seen it in a while. So, it's, it's kind of nice seeing the sun. Glad to know it's still there. So, uh, here he comes. Hey, old man, we're here to see you. We're here to seek your wisdom. Well... Unfortunately, he's not what we hope, but his nose is still pretty cold. <laughs> we were hoping there's icicles hanging off his nose. That would have been awesome. <laughs> if somehow I can get over there and plant some on there, I would, but I don't think I could do that without falling to my death. <laughs> so, <laughs> but his nose sure is cold, that's for sure. So there's old stone face. In the, in the middle of winter, it's about, what, eight degrees? Something like that. Something like that. And windy, so probably feels more like maybe negative six, something like that. So there you are, <laughs> old stone face. Yeah. Some of the trail there. Cool overlook. See all the, the farmland, the countryside little knobs and the hills of the Shawnee we're kind of the hills and the bigger hills are kind of behind us so we're along this ridge at least so we're on the bigger ones the mountains the real mountains I'll call them mountains any day check out this winter wonderland all the ice on the trees pretty Bridges. ah I think. a lowercase a coracae no, no, no. <laughs> that's a scientific name <laughs> all my scientific names rhyme because those are the correct ones remember that a lowercase whatever I just said <laughs> all right coming out into the the power line cut out Take you on top of Eagle Mountain, up to Eagle Mountain Road. But there you go. Nice overlook. Just gotta be careful, especially now. <laughs> During times like this. <laughs> Come on, you didn't expect me to leave that up, did you? I'll, I'll leave those there since they're frozen. <laughs> I just killed a Karen. Gently. <laughs> Gently killed it. Here you go, folks. Big power line cut out. You can see everything up here, you know, without a power lines going through here it probably wouldn't be this nice I don't know it there's kind of a bluff over you know alrighty folks check this spot out I think this is one of the prettier spots with snowfall at a uh, stone face area this is uh, past the power line cut out but all the bluffage right there and then the the hillside the mountainside with the uh, snow everywhere on the trees and that's really pretty. Whew. 
All right, folks, so we're gonna do an alter, alternative way out, which is basically turning this into a loop, but it's not really a loop. It's kind of an out and back trail. And I was told it's not really even official trail, so whatever. But uh, we're gonna pretty much turn it into a loop by following the bluff, going down and following the bluff line back out. And I'm recording this on Strava, so don't try to do this on your own without uh, any kind of, you know, like map software like that. Because uh, especially in the summer, because you will get lost and it'll be a rolling hill extravaganza. <laughs> Trust me, been there, done that. <laughs> and I was not in shape when I did it. <laughs> that is a hill. <laughs> All right, folks, we're still hiking off trail right now to a hill that we're probably gonna have to go down. <laughs> Maybe up here. Let's... All right, folks, back in the truck. Here's Buford. Hi, hello guys, hello, I'm Buford. And we went about a mile, or about 2.2 .2 miles, a loop, somewhat. <laughs> Feel free to share, comment, like, all that good stuff. And until next time. Quit. Sean. Mm. Sean. I will put my cold hands Sean. on you. It's Valentine's Day. It is. Stop. <laughs> what? I can see you. Can you? <laughs> oh, that's how you're doing it, huh? <laughs> it's, all right, I turned it off. No, you didn't. I turned it off no, and put did. it away. You did not. Until next time, Michelle will see you on the trail. Hopefully not on her belly sliding down it. <laughs> Keep on. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Oh. You did not turn it off.